Hey guys, it's Tired with Pacific Rim Video, and we're here at the Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival with one of the awesome directors from all the way from Canada, is that correct? Yeah. Can you tell us a little about yourself? Uh, my name's Joyce Wong, and I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I came here with a film called Wexford Plaza. It's my first time feature. Oh, nice. So Wexford Plaza, what is this film about? It's about a lonely female security guard who has an unexpected sexual encounter with a makeup salesman. And it's a dark comedy set in the dilapidated strip malls. Wow. Uh, you know, that's, that's oddly similar to something that I had at the, at the Mac counter one day. I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail, but cool, it hit me in the feels, right? Um, that's awesome. So let me ask, as a, as a filmmaker, how did you craft this story? Where did this come from, this, this kind of dark comedy? Well, I wanted to make a film that felt authentic and real because I didn't feel like there was stuff that represented this very particular place in working class um, suburbs that I grew up in, in mainstream media. And so it started out with like, you know, oh, I want to make something that, you know, about the environment that I grew up in that like, you know, my friends can relate to when they see it. Um, and so one of my best friends from high school was a security guard and she would always tell me these like crazy stories, you know, like about um, her adventures and, and whatnot. And it just kind of all bubbled up from there. Were any of these stories about someone named Joyce and flirting at the Shisido counter? No, no. I'm just messing with you. Um, well, that's, that's really cool. And, you know, one thing we've really seen a lot is a lot of Asian Canadian filmmakers coming all the way from up north, coming down here and then presenting their films. Is there, uh, I guess, a growing Asian community of filmmakers there? Yeah, like, I think, um, I mean, everyone's getting woke now, like, you know, yeah. with um, just making diverse content, you know, and, um, and well, actually, no, we've, we've always wanted to make it, but, like, finally, people, um, funders and um, people that are in kind of the, the gatekeeper positions are finally, like, paying attention to it, and so, um, like, with the Canadian filmmakers that are, like, around the film festival circuit right now, I think it's been, like, a, a long time coming, because there's been a lot of, kind of, initiatives from the Canadian government, um, like, from, like, the late 90s to early 2000s where they've really kind of nurtured like um, diverse voices and you know everyone started making shorts you know five minute things whatever and now we're all like kind of graduating into features and so it's 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 gonna we're, we're gonna you know we're all gonna be around <laughs> well that's no it's very cool and you know we're very supportive of that uh, and you speak a lot about your story being represented um, in this film uh, there, are there a lot of Asian elements in it or is it just more of you know the the teenage exp well, not the teenage experience but what's growing up you know within that mall culture within growing up in a middle-class family or is it very Asian themed it's subtle Asian so it's a coming-of-age story about two protagonists that are usually relegated to the sidelines. And so one of the protagonists is a Filipino male who's a heartthrob. And so, um, but he's a loser heartthrob. So he's not like, you know, um, you know, that football hero. Because that's kind of like whitewashing the, I feel like, a, a, a cultural specificity. You know? So I really wanted to talk about this idea of you know, the masculation of Asian men, but not in like the over the head kind of way, you know? And so, um, so it's subtle Asian, um, and, and I feel like now that, you know, we've like all progressed beyond like, you know, very obvious stories, we can like talk about like stories that are a lot more complex and, you know, the, like the, the Asian characters that we have in our films can have that cultural specificity in a very subtle way and not in like an obvious way. It's very, very cool. And especially, you know, digging deeper into the setting of it, the mall. I mean, and especially in America, the dying landscape. I mean, we have got Paul Blart, but that's about it. You know what I mean? That's very cool. So um, you talked about graduating now into features. What's, what's post-graduation? What's uh, going to go to grad school here? What are you, where can we find this film? What's next for you? Well, we're, I guess I could talk about it. Like, we're, we're, we're on the ver secret, yeah. It's an exclusive secret. There may or may not be a distribution um, uh, thing happening. So, like, I guess I can't really announce we'll it. Keep but it under wraps. We'll yeah. Keep you guys waiting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this this will but this will come to theaters um, um, near you guys soon, and um, also on um, premium VOD. And um, and but 
As for me, um, I'm currently developing the feature into a TV series, and so, so I'm just working on that and also working on the next feature and trying to perfect it um, before I you know, launch myself into another four years of you know, production. Okay, so we have just a couple of fun questions for you. So, grew up in a mall, right? Yeah. Top five stores you go to, go. Top five stores? The more convenience store, of course. Okay, you know, that's, that's okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, the ATM. Are, are those really stores? I feel like now oh, you're just giving, yeah. Okay. I, I figure you're going to get like a Claire's in there or something. Do they have that in Canada? I don't know. Yeah, they do. Like, yeah, I guess like Limite, Ardennes, and like, you know, this, like, there's this kind of fish and chip stores where like we went to go get like poutine and that kind of thing. So like we always like kind of went and bought like three dollar poutine and just sat like and just ate it like with like between like six people. And so that was like like a thing, I guess. I want to congratulate you. I think that was the most Canadian thing I've heard. Yeah. We, we do not unfortunately have the the three dollar <laughs> poutine. Yeah. Uh, we have a hot dog on a stick and uh, orange Julius. I don't know. Is that big over there? Or no, probably not. Orange Julius. They, 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 all the American chains, they put them in like the fancy malls, you know? That's fancy? <laughs> oh, well, okay, let me ask real quick. We, I'm a pretzel guy at the mall. So we had Auntie Anne's or Auntie Anne's whatever and Wetzel Pretzel. There's one right answer. Do you have those two chains there? Auntie Anne? No, I don't. Well, maybe. Do you have Wetzel Pretzel? No, we don't have Wetzel Pretzel for sure. The Auntie Anne's, I, that kind of sounds familiar. But Orange Julius is like kind of connected to Dairy Queen. Like, up in, like, Canada, so... I didn't know there was a cabal of Dairy Queen and, like, the <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> so, the, the, so, you know how, like, sometimes those, like, counters have, like, like two stores, but yeah, it's, like, the same person? Buy, yeah. yeah, and then they, like, run across and put on a different hat when they go to the other thing. And then, like, yeah, so it's, like, one of those where... See, I think in, in Canada, it seems like more of a fun, happy sitcom of doing two jobs that, uh, yeah. like, you know, teenage jobs. And in America, it's more soul-crushing and depressing. So but anyway, um, we'll end on a good note. Where can we find you on social media? How can we support the film? And uh, yeah, where can we find us at a mall near soon? It's, um, oh, and for mall near soon. Um, okay, so Wexford Plaza um, is our, um, what do you call it, our Twitter handle and also our Instagram handle. And on Facebook, we're also Wexford Plaza. But be careful when, when you search for us because there's a lot of Wexford Plazas that are like real like malls that are like, Websites that are by property owners, so so yeah, we're not like like the like the site that's trying to sell you space, and so like so just scroll down or something, and, and then with me, um, I'll be I'll be I guess I don't know doing my dry cleaning at the mall, like <laughs> is that okay or. Um, hey, it's your mall. You can do whatever you like. Or, okay, meet me at the corner of Finch and Birchmount, and we can have, like, you know, Hong Kong, like, milk tea, you know? I feel like that's the Hong Kong, or the Hong Kong Canadian version of Catch Me Outside, How About Dad? Is that, is that <laughs> what it is? I no, I'm not going to start a fight with anyone, okay. though. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Right in your face. <laughs>